Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're going to wrap things up now uh, with the cementing. Right prior to that, now we're going to go ahead and, and place the Teflon material. And uh, all you want to do really at this point is just get it started in there. I'll take it and just take the end, pull it, just take the end, take a periodontal probe, and you can actually just start condensing it. Almost acts like foil you know, where we used to use uh, gold foil in dental school. So once you get it started, it'll be covering the screw. It actually goes right into the top of the screw itself. It's nice and white, so if you ever had to go back in, you can see it. And it creates a very nice seal in there, so no bacteria will contaminate things. So then we'll try, after we condense that in there, I'm going to use a, a plugger like a, an old amalgam plugger. There you go. Perfect. And I believe we did remove the cord at this point. So we're just getting ready to cement this in with tampon cement. Um, a little bit about the cement itself. I've had some viewers write in about how much to put in there. Um, there's a great study that's out uh, that was published I believe about a year ago in Dentistry Today magazine on how much cement is actually necessary. I would suggest that you get your hands on that study. It'll explain the reasons why we should uh, basically should just line uh, the crown with the cement. You don't want to overfill them because you don't want the cement to travel down the side of the abutment and get entrapped onto the uh, implant itself and cause bone loss. So here's my try-in. Everything is good. All right, we'll dry it off. I'll hand it over to my dental assistant. She'll go ahead and, and extrude a small amount of, uh, of cement in the crown itself. Uh, I'm actually going to put a little bit of Vaseline lubricant on the contact areas in case uh, some of the cement were to extrude up onto that. It's kind of a routine. I just do that. Whether it's temporary cement or if it's permanent cement, I do the same thing. All right, now we'll dry off the abutment. And it's clear sailing from here. Um, I have a couple of cotton rolls ready for him to bite down on, uh, just making sure that there aren't any tissue tags that are going to be trapped underneath the crown itself. She's got the crown ready. And uh, here it comes. Ready or not, here it comes. <laughs> okay. There we go. Again, just pushing it in place. There it goes. And just a little bit of excess will come out. And you'll see just a hair on that mesial. So in with the two cotton rolls biting evenly on both. And um, we're going to wait about two minutes. Let it set. Clean the cement. And it'll be off and running. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. It's been a pleasure. I know it's been a long, I believe this is the ninth or even 10th uh, video, but enjoy your day out there, all right? And touch base anytime.